powers of binary relations. We define recursively the first power of a relation R is uh, just R. The power n plus 1 is uh, obtained by taking the nth power of the relation and composing it with R. And uh, this uh, gives us the, this holds for any positive integer n. Uh, in this way we have uh, powers of n defined for uh, all natural numbers n and uh, R with the superscript n is called the nth power of R. Uh, the concept is really simple. Uh, R to the first power is just R. R to the second power is R composed with R. R to the third power is R composed with R uh, and further composed with R. And, uh, of course, instead of using compositions, uh, we could uh, use relative products and uh, uh, for R to the third power it would be a relative product involving uh, R three times. Uh, here is an example which uh, uh, will uh, uh, follow an idea from the previous video, uh, the video on relative products and, and compositions. Uh, let X be a set of cities. Let F be a binary relation on X, such that X is related to Y if and only if there exists a flight from X to Y. Uh, then f to the second power describes the trips consisting of exactly two flights. Uh, indeed, x is related to z by f to the second power, if and only if there exists a y such that there is a flight from x to y and a flight from y to z. Then. Uh, f to the third power describes the trips consisting of exactly three flights. Uh, Here is a remark uh, concerning uh, directed uh, concerning paths in indirected graphs. If uh, a relation R represents a directed graph uh, which may have some loops, then r to the nth power represents all paths of length n uh, in this graph. Uh, what do I mean by r representing a directed graph with loops? Uh, we talked about uh, visualizing a binary relation as a directed graph with loops. So um, this is this is what is meant here. And uh, again, uh, if R describes this directed graph with loops, then Rn represents um, the paths of length n in the graph. And uh, from this we can um, obtain some uh, statement concerning paths of length up to n. Uh, please notice that in item 1 we were talking about paths of exact length n. Now it will be about paths of length up to n. And uh, for this we will need to start with a directed graph which does not have any loops. Uh, there is never a directed edge from a node to itself. Um, if R represents such a graph, if R represents such a graph, then uh, we will 
consider the union of R and the identity relation on the underlying set. Uh, by forming this union, we're actually adding loops to every node. Now, for every node in the graph, there is a directed edge uh, from the node to itself. And uh, we will take the nth power of such a relation. Uh, this power represents all paths of length up to n um, in the original graph. Um, why, why can we claim that item 2 holds? Um, this is because uh, for paths shorter than uh, n, uh, we can loop from the node to itself um, a desired number of times, and only after that um, traverse uh, other links, other edges in the graph. Uh, here's an exercise. What is the nth power of the identity relation? The diagonal relation. Uh, what is the nth power of the total relation on X? What is the nth power of the empty relation? Uh, please pause the video and answer these questions. And uh, here is another uh, exercise. Uh, uh, consider a set family uh, consisting of uh, Adam, Betty, Celia, Dan, Eva, Fred, Greg, Henry and Ian. Uh, we'll define a binary relation is a parent of um, where Adam is a parent of Betty, Adam is an, a parent of Celia, Betty is a parent of Dan, and so on. Um, this relation can be visualized as a family tree where uh, there is a link from a parent to a child, parent being on the uh, upper end of the link. And instead of using full names, I'm using just uh, initials, which are conveniently A through I. Um, given this relation, your task is to find the powers is a parent of to the nth power for n uh, 1 being 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And uh, also, um, for every such a power, uh, tell what family relationship is modeled by the power. Um, finally, I would like to mention uh, two propositions. R to the power m plus n is the same as uh, uh, taking r to the nth power and composing it with r to the nth power, um, which in turn is equivalent to taking r to the nth power and composing it with r to the mth power. Uh, of course, the same can be written using relative products. And uh, another fact, uh, r to the power m times n uh, can be obtained as the mth power of r raised to the nth power, or alternatively, the nth power of r uh, raised to the mth power. And uh, the second proposition uh, shows the interaction of the power operation uh, with the inverse operation. The inverse 
of the nth power is the same as the nth power of the inverse.